Phoenix Rise and Tarot. Here to do a monthly update for the sign of Libra. <clears throat> Just keep in mind these are general readings. They're not going to resonate with all of you. But for the ones that it does resonate with, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information will be in the description box below. This is going to be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs of Libra. So let's jump into this reading and see what messages are coming through for you guys this week. So at the bottom of the deck we have the ever unfolding rose crack open it's happening for you not to you so you all may have been waiting for something to begin something to start over something to finally grow so we have get grounded in parts highly sensitive connect with nature some of you should be doing some meditation this month trust your path if you knew you would be supported what would you do then we have the initiation, right? A passage crossing the trestle. Then we have answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? And leap. You go first, the universe will catch up. So it's about having faith in what it is you have been trying to manifest. That it comes to fruition for you. So let's jump into this reading and see what messages are coming through. This could be influences, situations that may be coming up, people, that sort of stuff. So at the bottom of the deck, we have unexpected income. So some type of money or material asset is coming towards you this month. Could have to do with home, house, stability, family. Could have to do with... Uh -huh. A message that you're going to receive from someone concerning some type of stability and long-term commitment. Something that you have been in your head a lot about that caused you a lot of despair, worry and anxiety. But things are about to change for you. This month, it's your month of change. Spirit messages for the sign of Libra. Messages for the sign of Libra. Hmm. Could have something to do with a fire sign that is being controlling, erratic, or temperamental. You could be married to this person. Could be a Taurus you're dealing with for some of you. Could be a spiritual teacher that you're going to get a message from as regards to stability and home. For others of you, it is about long-term commitment and 
this person really not behaving how you would like them to yeah so your thoughts are that you you want happiness with this person but for right now there is no happiness with this person so after a series of despair and frustration and hurt and pain a cycle is closing off and a new one is beginning yeah this person could come across as being controlling yet not standing their grounds when it comes to something important <clears throat> You feel like this person has left this marriage or this long-term commitment out in the cold. You feel a distance between you and them. It is uncanny to anything you knew, you knew before. You feel that there is a lack of love in this connection. You feel or your person do that there is no grounds to really push towards showing love and affection in this connection. Yeah, could be a Pisces some of you are dealing with, but you're trying to change your perspective because you want this to work out. You want stability. You want this marriage or this long-term commitment to work out. Yeah. Scarcity may be with money or with loyalty or with home and family but there is a lack of some sort where something is lacking in this home dynamic you don't want to say you're sorry you don't want to have a new beginning you don't want to explore love with this person or stability or this person could it could be them it could be you now this is putting you in obsessive energy where you're trying to figure out how to fix the situation and it's bringing down your vibration because you're so focused on fixing it because this person is really telling you what it is they want you have no clarity you feel betrayed by this person in this connection but things are about to change for you it's either you or this person may be coming forward offering their cup of love. But some of you may be resistant to it. Because you are at a stalemate. You're stalled. You've stopped. You want growth in this relationship. You want progression. And you're willing to manifest it or you have been trying to manifest it that this relationship can be revitalized and this person can change and love can be restored to this relationship you feel like your hands are tied though but the eight of swords is a mental condition it's you holding yourself back yeah because you don't want a separation you don't want it to end but you're not taking time to really heal. Could be dealing with a Leo for some of you, but yeah. You want something to be illuminated, but you can't find the courage to address it head on. Could have something to do with a Sagittarius. You may be having anxiety because of a Sagittarius. You're trying to heal this connection. That is obvious. You want a reconciliation with this person. But this person isn't taking any action towards you. And this is causing you to be unhappy. Wow. Yeah. And you're juggling between do I put in more effort and work into this or do I withdraw? Alright. That is your indecision this month. What is the most likely outcome for the sign of Libra in this connection? What is the best advice for the sign of Libra in this connection?
Alright, so at the bottom of the deck we have mm -hmm, a gorgeous looking man. So some of you are trying to figure out do you want to stay with this person because you see them to be handsome, outgoing, everything that you want in a man. Could be same sex couple or there is a man present here so I'm just putting that out there. There is nothing blocking you as far as you could see. There are no hurdles. This person is just concentrating on something else, somewhere else passionately and you feel that. Alright, so this is what I have for you guys. I hope it helps. Have a good one.